so this is it. Hello everyone. All right, hello and welcome everyone to uh, Throne and Liberty. It's the official release and uh, I'm going to guess it's going to be very difficult to get into a server tonight. But we're going to do our best. So I'm uh, it's going to be a little bit of a shopper ride uh, because I don't think I'm going to be able to do this in one go. That will be server selection, character creation, and get into the game. Just like that. So, uh, we will see. I've already read all of this in open beta. I'm uh, gonna go with action mode. Uh, let's go with headphones until you can barely see the image well that will be full brightness pretty much but I can probably go with that uh, I'm gonna run with uh, this we can uh, try epic and I agree and enter Holy shit, it actually worked. Okay, so uh, here's the key thing though. Uh, we have the early access servers. These have been up uh, five days from now. Uh, and then we have uh, uh, these servers. These are... Um, uh, created um, today I guess these are the released servers and basically early access characters cannot transfer to these and uh, we're gonna roll with Kassar I'm gonna be heading into that straight away the star of Silaveth it is said to be the seal stone containing Silaveth goddess of destruction this magical star of destruction was shattered into pieces all across the world. And those who were born with this fragment were called the Starborn. In 1192, during an age of conflict, the Archean commander Khazar sought to use the power of the star fragments as a tool of war. The wizard Jan Junith sent Calanthea, a witch, to the remote island where Starborn were hiding. Oh, whoa, 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 hold on. We get a cinematic? Look at that. Fire! This is like one hour after release. Been trying now. Right, <laughs> third time, we got this. 
persistence will win in the end. Maybe. Get rid of a disconnection, I believe. Nice appearance settings. Easy face, make a share appearance. You are number 156 in the queue. Okay, number 103. Jeez. I think people are crashing. Uh, I can say, but the thing is, can I make a character in time before uh, we get in? Yeah, I don't know if I can. Uh, these are different eyes, iris. Uh... Height 16. So we can go down to 8 there, perhaps. Here's. Uh, yeah, I do want to change that. Angle 18. Go with 10. Size, keep that. This is makeup. Eyelashes, eyeliner, eyeshadow, chic makeup, war paint. Uh, wait, do we have any.
Now we're looking bulky as hell. I think my character looks identical to the one I had in the beta. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm going with this. Ton of key bindings to do, but we need to get past uh, the tutorial first. Crazy. I haven't done any optimization. I mean, how can you from the main menu? But no screen tearing. It's strange it doesn't. With a different weapon. It's strange it didn't say my key binding from uh, the beta. Who the hell uses that as a default key? So yeah, I, I've done this, of course. I mean, I've done the pearl. Uh, not sure if I need to do that, do I? 
thing I do. I don't remember this thing. Shit, he died. I don't remember this. Wait, who the hell is that? nightmare again uh yes please don't feel guilty the elder wouldn't want you to feel this way forever come on why don't you go out and get some fresh air oh right lottie just left to go to moonshade town you should follow her i'd love to come with but running makes my arm hurt i'll bet lottie morphed if you want to catch up to her You'll have to morph too. Ah, oh, that Lottie. She didn't take the map again. Can you take it to her? I drew up the right. map because she asked for it too. <sighs> All right, let's get going. So uh, what do I have? Community, party, relationship. Go to those stairs over there, quickly. If you want to catch up to Lotta, you'd better hurry. If you want to catch up to Lotta, you'd better hurry. Okay, well, I have some optimization I need to do. That's uh, an understatement, really. Also, where is my social uh, panel? Do I have one? Surely I have one, right? Maybe I haven't unlocked it yet. I think I need to complete the tutorial. Okay. Okay. So I've been uh, tweaking the settings a little bit. It's uh, still stuff to do. But we're going to be checking this out and see uh, how it runs. And uh, 
I've changed to classic mode as well. I should be fine with both of them. I mean, I'm used to both, so. Ah, oh, I forgot the map. Adventurer, why are you? Well, I brought a map. Oh, I was just about to go back and get it. Oh, I need to repair something in Crescent Town. Since you're here already, Moonshade Town. do you want to go to... I'm sure it's nothing too serious or urgent. Besides, today is the day when Gigantrite passes by with Spirian. Now, let's go. Stairs are broken. Be careful, my friend. Huh. Seems like Clay is here too, given a special occasion. Today's the day where the massive divine beast called Gigantrite comes by. Surprised to see anyone here today. Want to try out some weapons? Take the training You're new to these weapons, try out right? different weapons. Let me teach and you. see which one you like well, best. Well, I'm sure you already know. You can equip up to two weapons. Try out different weapons. And oh, yeah. Well, I'm going to go with like. Raised Sword and Sword and Shield. Oh yeah, we're going to need to do some key bindings. Very odd. No idea what really happened there. Something is not right. Uh, I'm gonna go back to borderless. But, but, I, but I'm. I need, I mean, need to make a confirmation, right? I'm doing other stuff now. Uh, let's see, where, where were I? I were... Here. Summon Guardian, I don't know. Turn the target, I uh, don't know. Voice input. It should be relevant.
Now I remember why I don't use that. Because that will be morphing when I do. Features, zoom in, rotate, close, all tutorial details. I think it's that. Is, I think that's fine. Well, this is new. I don't remember this. Whenever Gigantrite visits Whisperian, the town buzzes with excitement and energy. During such an event, you and Lottie left Whisperian's fortress to visit Moonshade Town. What's going on here? Let's go and check it out. I'll go over first. Follow me with your piton and grappling hook. The watchtower was destroyed by an attack. Although the path was now blocked, you and Lottie made use of the piton and your grappling hooks to continue onward. I like that we have a narrative for you what just happened. It looks like the cart was destroyed by artillery. So I have some oh, I have some UI to do. Some UI changes. I well a lot of UI changes. I don't like any of this right now really. Uh, but I can only do it after level one it said. And I guess I'm level nothing. I don't even have a level, I think. to get to Moonshade Town. It's the only way to get there without a boat. This is bad. 
Bermats is here. Maybe he has an idea. I will try to find a way. You go ahead and take care of the injured. Bermats, oh, can you fix this? Is a well, between the two of us, we'll have it fixed in no time. Shall we get started? Thank you. Whisperian was hit too. Can you check it out? I still don't understand this character. that appeared on your way to Vesperian. While Vesperian was still intact, a broken pulley lift prevented you from reaching Moonshade Town. Suddenly, a mysterious being bathed in light appeared and led you to the top of the great tree. All right. Well, yeah, the lift has been, has uh, collapsed, can't be used. Okay, this was not part of the open beta, I remember. You met some guy here who was like, Oh, how did you get there? Ah, never mind, who cares? Let's follow, follow me. That's sort of what happened. <laughs> so this is new. to move our troops now. Damn it! With the pulley destroyed, reinforcements can't reach us! Is there some way... Oh, someone's coming! Don't threat. Reinforcement is on the way. Or it's just me and some flying doll. Hi there! You, how did you get here? I thought the pulley lift was broken. It is. got here with the glide wolf. You must have the power of a star fragment. I hear that those with the power of a star fragment can communicate with mysterious entities. Ah, forgive me. My name is Clay Cartan, from the Resistance. For some reason, you seem kind of familiar. Well, I must have heard from the invasion ten years ago. Oh, I see. You escaped with me. I'm glad to see you're safe. But now's hardly the time to chat. For now, will you lend us your strength? Sure. Thank you. Captain Kyra and I will fight the Archean forces on this side and find a way to get in. We'll need you to go into town and rescue the residents with the resistance. Please be careful. When this is over, let's be sure to meet again. After arriving on top of the great... <laughs> Fragment that capture all who bear the power of the star. 
Khazar will have to recognize Zaron. I haven't even looked at my skills yet, really. Yeah, this is very different from what I... Oh wait, this part I do know. That's not very good. Can I not double tap? Kind of OP. This is the power of a rampaging star fragment.
Hey, hey, wake up. That's strange. I wasn't told about any serious injuries. <coughs> hey, are you awake? Do you recognize me? Unfortunately, yes. Oh, nice. You wait here. I'll call the healer now. So they don't see this thing. The child who lost everything here 10 years ago now challenges the might of the Archean Legion. Starborn bravery and determination forged in celestial fire. to move i'm on my way with the healer you... what happened do you have any idea how worried i was well well i i did uh, what i was needed to do i thought something happened to you yeah it's fine uh, clay is waiting inside so hurry up and go see him ah, if the pulley wasn't broken i would have kicked way more else I heard someone took down that giant orc alone. That's crazy. You did good. Oh, you're fine. Thank you. Come this way. Thanks to your defeat of King Vert, we were able to fight off the Archeum. The portal in the sky has closed as well. We were about to be killed by King Vert when your star fragment went into a frenzy and overwhelmed the enemy. If you hadn't been able to defeat him, none of us would have survived. I'm thankful the Elder protected you ten years ago, so that today we could stand together to defend Wisp Island. Speaking of which, I'm sure you feel guilty over what happened to the Elder. You didn't cause his death. You should know that. Please, don't blame yourself. That said, are you alright? Your power, it's clearly too dangerous to leave as is. When a Star Fragment's power overloads like that, it takes a heavy toll on the bearer's body. It could even kill you. Carrying such a powerful Star Fragment makes you a target for the Archeum, too. A decade ago, Kazar and Kalanthia invaded this island precisely to steal that power for themselves. That power is unpredictable when it's in a frenzy. It will hurt innocent bystanders who get too close. Hmm. I have a friend named Martine in Castleton, a town in Laslin. She's researching the effects of star fragments. I believe she can help you. Here, take my token. Show this to the storage manager named Melky, and he will help you. Well, the story seems to be a lot more easier to follow this time than in the open beta. It, it actually kind of makes sense now. When you are ready to leave, Touch Luna Zero's head to temporarily enhance your glide ability. That should get you all the way to Castleton. Hm. I wish you all the best. And always together. That's right. Or well, uh, well, it depends, I guess. But yes. even know who those are really i barely know them
pretty nice. Those areas it showed us. The uh, lighthouse, whatever it is. I only played the open beta for a few hours. I was on the last day. That place over there, I remember. To the star fragment's power, the island is safe for now. Oh, yeah, I will uh, do that. Okay, so I think now I'm level one. I can now, uh, um, yeah, I can now edit UI and everything like that. So I'm gonna be doing that, and uh, then I will be back. All right, hello everyone. So, and uh, we have now sorted out everything here. So I've been uh, tweaking the UI. I've been changing the settings. I haven't really touched the graphic settings that much. Mainly because I don't really know what to pick here. Character count is down to low. But the rest, uh, and yeah, distance shadows are on high. These have turned off because they're disgusting. And that is down to high as well. That's down to high, which I thought looked better. But I don't know. I haven't really done any hard optimization. We can take a look at the clouds from here, actually. So that's how they look when we have that, and that's how they look. Okay, I noticed some of it here, but I actually think this is very minimal to no uh, difference. So I don't know. I will give. I will uh, do some more optimization later. But anyway, let's uh, let's go. It has been. Uh, I haven't even uh, gotten off the. Dark area here now. It's the first time. Uh, you can choose your final reward. And yeah, we are playing with the action camera right now. I'm just gonna give it a shot. Uh, so for that, we go in here. We go here. And this is the preload. Now we get to pick a uh, reward. I'm gonna go with melee hit chance. Claim. Job done. We're gonna do uh, the tragedy next. We'll uh, do that. Uh, select one. Taste of food. Uh, boss hit chance. All defense. PvP hit chance. All hit chance. I don't know how many bosses I'm going to be fighting. But uh, I will go with that. I wanted to see if that worked, but it didn't. Okay. So that is done. We can now access the uh, shop as well. Not anything interesting in here, really. From what I could uh, see.
so yeah that's it let's uh, keep going now in the beta we didn't play that much i know we headed out to the beach went up in a tower we got a cut scene we fought some enemies and that was it But I have uh, done everything I can so far in order to get, in order to give this game the best try I can actually give it. Because the beta did not convince me. But it was something that lingered from beta uh, that made me want to keep playing. Revel Lupius. Many oh, brother, why is your bag so heavy? Man. Welcome, brother. First. Well, I got this token from Clay. Okay. How long is this ugly statue going to remain here? This guy's been dead for ages. Uh, F9. Claim reward. A leveling log pass. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, we, we can live without that. I don't do, actually, hold on. The premium pass. Oh, then the battle pass. The battle pass is 500. The... Um, oh. Not really a huge fan of how that looks, if I gotta be honest. Might be some good stuff here, but I don't know. It's too early for me to say. To say. Uh, we have... Um... Is that reset? Could be re yeah, I think that's reset. Oh shit. Okay, then we maybe want to do this, right? Uh, let's collect that. Now we have some money. But it, what was it? It was 500 and then for this it's 500. How much is a thousand? Revel Lupius. Well, uh, yeah, it's it's 20. Celebration package per account. Same amount. And you get the same amount of loosened. What else do you get? You get us. You get something really weird. How long is this ugly statue going to remain here? This guy's been dead for ages. Look at that. <laughs> I don't think that dress is really good. No, no, it's nine. It's it's a hundred euros, but no. Okay, but uh, yeah, a thousand. But I think you can get loosened in the game. But I'm not so sure. I I can't remember really. There was so much to take in from this game. I've been trying to do my best. So we need to speak with um, the priestess here. Uh, I've got Clay's token and I... yes, okay. Right. Lord Hobbs of Laslin resisted Revolupius, who had usurped the throne, but his dominion was taken by the Archean Legion. However, Laslin was freed again by the Founder's Order, led by Captain Da Vinci, and the Laslin Allied Resistance Forces were founded here.
All right. Nice. So uh, now we need to go over here and speak. That's a nice looking armor. Oh, do you need something? Do you need anything? Uh, yes, I'm looking for a red flower. I have this token. Yes. Welcome. Mm, I don't know what those Archean bastards want with her. But under these circumstances, we have no choice but to be wary of outsiders seeking Martinet. Oh, sorry for stalling. You need the rest of the passphrase to find Martinet. The first part of the phrase is the light fragment. Ask the skills researcher for the other half. Don't just say you're looking for a red flower. Do you need anything? Oh, do you need something? All right. Um... It's a daily limit on the honey and the golden rye. But if I buy that, it's going to be costing me everything I have. Take care. That was close. I can't believe the ghastly tales were true. You absolutely need to grow. Do you want to learn a new skill? So, Clay sent you. The second half of the password is Whispers. You want to meet with Martinet? Head to the Castleton Infirmary on the north side of town. By the way, many of the townsfolk, including myself, have been brought to health by Martinet's healing skills. Please take care not to let anything happen to her. All right. Keep an eye out for anyone suspicious on your tail, just in case. At first, Murky pretended not to know anything about Martinet. It turns out, she had gone into hiding, fearing the Archeum Legion. When you showed Clay's token to the villagers, told you where to go, and gave you the full password, the Light Fragment Whispers. I won't remember we go, we come close. back to that guy. I can't believe the ghastly tales were true. Well, hi there. We need help. I haven't seen you around before. So what brings you here? I see. Play sent you to me because of my research. The truth is, my sister Adriana also suffers from bouts of mana frenzy. I've been searching for a cure. If you're suffering from the effects of mana frenzy as well, a mana calming potion can alleviate your symptoms. I'd brew one for you. But I just used my last batch of ingredients, and unfortunately, I must stay here for the time being. Then I'll tell you where to go and what I need. Head to the Golden Apothecary in the Golden Rye Pastures. You'll be able to find some rancid powder. Bring me some rancid powder, and I'll make you an improved mana calming potion. Understood. You know how to use waypoints, right? If you're uh, sure, yes. go yes. We know. Oh dear, you look... Your symptoms are clearly getting worse. Hurry, bring me some rancid powder. I thought that was going to be one of my friends, but no. Constantine Infirmary has been closed for some time due to rumors that the Archeum Legion was hunting Martinet. It was to trick them into thinking that Martinet, who had worked as a healer there, had left. While in hiding, 
She is still researching a cure for her sister's star fragment side effects. Waypoints are one of the greatest implementations of Venalux magic. They allow you to instantly traverse from one location to another. Originally, teleportation was a spell that only the most skilled wizards were able to cast by creating distortions between spaces using the elements of wind and earth. It was the wizard Clay who completed the schema to make waypoints so that teleportation could be accessible to everyone. Anyone can use a waypoint without any special training. Try placing your hand on the waypoints in the plaza and at the Golden Rye Pastures. I don't need to watch that at least. Okay, is there anything else in here that we want to do? As far as I know, no. No, not really. What else do we have here? Let me take a look. Have you tried using the storage? It's very convenient. Well, I don't think I have anything in the storage I want to use. Contract manager for I'm Nos Con Is there anything you want to buy? Oh alright. Well I could maybe get rid of some of the weapons I have in my inventory from the beginning. But fair enough. Let's get out of here. Oh look at that. We do have photo mode. Hey Spiritum, thank you very much for uh, the raid. this one this was once the most prosperous granary in Laslin but after the cursed rain came it became infested with strangely enlarged pests people tried to solve the problem by employing the power of free wizards but the free wizards clumsy magic only made things worse Priestess Grace introduced waypoints as a great integration of Venalux magic. Teleportation was a rare skill that was only used by a few wizards. Oh yeah, there was also got for him. Oh, your spirit, okay. Anyone to teleport freely. It is so much more. I don't come so long to be level two and so long. Ah, looks like it's your first time using a waypoint. If you place your hand on a waypoint, the schema will be activated. 
in the stone will glow blue. Yes. Open your map and select a waypoint. Yes. Once you place your hand on a waypoint, it will glow with blue light, activating the schema. If you open the map and select an activated waypoint, you can instantly travel to that location. Current location. Collect a collection of codex page at the Golden Rye Pastures. Set a pile of straw ablaze and destroy the malfunctioning harvesters. Crafts and materials depending on the weather. You can acquire special materials from change changes in the environment. Jag har Norge kan köpa, köpa Sverige. Ja, det borde ni göra. Det skulle vara någonting. from the master well we need rancid powder rancid powder well i know how to make it but uh, no, no. Uh, please forget what i just said <sighs> i can't i haven't received the master's approval yet what if i just tell you the ingredients you need and you can gather them and find them yourself collect decomposed hearts from violent harvesters Poison stingers from wasps and contaminated horns from scarabs. Come back here with all of those, and I'll give you the last ingredient. Then, if you take all the ingredients to Windhill Shores and find my master, he'll make the powder for you. Okay. In the apothecary at the Golden Rye Pastures works the always gloomy Oliver, the herbalist's apprentice. Oliver has been an apprentice there for some time, though he has yet to gain the approval of his master. You've heard that the locals pitied the outstanding apprentice, a gifted student who suffered under his eccentric master.
here. We're using scarabs. The main ingredients for rancid powder can be acquired from harvesters and insects in the golden rye pastures. They are the decomposed heart of a harvester, which controls magical power, a wasp stinger, which controls magical toxicity, and a contaminated scarab horn, which has a tonic effect. These ingredients are highly toxic on their own, but highly effective together. Hmm. Okay, level one to level five. Jo, precis. Jag var avvaktad med det på grund av att det är free to play. Jag, hade, jag tror jag hade en vän som spelade Early Access, men... De flesta av oss vi är inne där nu när det blev gratis. That pile of straw ablaze. See, these are violent harvesters. We need uh, malfunctioning. Honestly, now's not the time to be worrying about goblins. Rain research. We need to talk to her. Oh, what do I do? I was planning to conduct an experiment today, but my 
assistant didn't show up. Can you help me out? Thank you. So, for your first task, please fetch the bucket over there. It's under the roof and has been catching rainwater. In the meantime, I'll set up the experiment. Please bring the bucket inside the lab. And inside the lab. You're just in time. I just finished setting up the experiment. I want to see how rainwater of a certain composition affects this area. I'm going to mix these ingredients in the rainwater you brought to make the experimental rainwater. I want you to sprinkle that rainwater on the scarab and absorb